Good morning students. Now let us continue with our third lesson, boundaries and locations. Okay, so now let us see some important locations and important boundaries which should be known by you all. Okay, the largest island in the Indian Ocean is Madagascar. M-A-D-A-G-A-S-C-A-R. Okay, then second one, Rameshwaram and Talaimannar are connected by Adams Bridge. Okay. It is A D A M apostrophe S B I R sorry B R I D G E. The region in the Pacific coast prone to volcanic eruptions is called the Pacific Ring of Fire. Okay, the international boundary between India and Pakistan is demarcated by the Radcliff Line R A D C I W F E L I N E. Okay. The street connecting the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal is the Park Street. P A L K S T R A I T. Park Street. Then the street between the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico is Strait of Florida. S T R A I T of F L O R A D A. Florida. Then the boundary between India and China is demarcated by the M C Mahon Line. M C M A H O N. M C Mahon Line. The largest archipelago in the world is Indonesia. I N D O N E S I A. Okay. Archipelago means that is uh, it is nothing but the extension of islands. अदाउदे नारे islands उरको नडुल water will be there between them, but group of islands will be called as archipelago. And uh, the largest group of islands is known as Indonesia, which is a country. Okay. The time of zero degree meridian is known as Greenwich Mean Time. Okay. G R W E N W I C H. Greenwich Mean Time. England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales together form the United Kingdom. Okay. Then. The Gulf of Manar is located in Sri Lanka. Okay, then the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean are linked by the Banama Canal. B A N A M A. It is not banana. It is Banama. Okay, canal. The Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea are joined by the Suez Canal. S U E Z. Suez Canal. Diego Garcia is situated in the Indian Ocean. Okay, South America is a triangle continent which tapers towards the south, terminating at Cap Horn. Okay, the Central Andes branch out into two ranges which are separated by a high plateau in Peru and Bolivia called as Altiplano. Sorry, Altiplano. A L T I P L A N O. The largest land mass formed by two con continents lying side by side is known as Eurasia. You know, right? Uh, Europe and Asia are just connected with each other, right? So the largest land mass in this world is nothing but togetherly known as that is we have separated it as Europe and Asia, but together we call it as Eurasia, which is the largest land mass formed by two continents. Okay. The tropical islands of Caribbean Sea and are collectively known as West Indies. Okay. Next, let us see some information about the UNO. After the bitter experience of the two world wars within a period of twenty-five years, the necessity of forming the United Nations organizations with more powers. Than the League of Nations was first discussed in 1944. It was finally put in shape by the delegates of 51 nations assembled in the San Francisco on 24 August 1945. So, what is UNO means? Its full form is United Nations Organization. Okay, United Nations Organization. Why it was started means see, uh, you already know there were two world wars actually. Okay. So after that, a uh, very bad impact was felt on the whole world. There were many crises, uh, shortage of food, shortage of everything. People were very, very affected by those two world wars. So uh, they wanted. That is, the leaders of these countries wanted not to uh, 
மேக் தேர் பீப்புள் சஃபர் மோர் ஸோ தே ட்ரை டு யுனைட் ஆல் த கண்ட்ரீஸ் அண்ட் மேக் சம் அக்ரிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் தே தே மேட் ஒன் அக்ரிமெண்ட் தட் வாஸ் நத்திங் பட் லீக் ஆஃப் நேஷன்ஸ் பட் திஸ் வாஸ் நோட் நாட் மோர் ப்ராபபிள் தட் இஸ் இட் வாஸ் நாட் ப்ராப்பர் ஸோ Again, uh, they started another organization called United Nations Organization in 1944. The first meeting was held. Okay. Then finally, uh, they accepted all the... Uh, in the United Nations Organization, there were 51 nations at that time. 51 nations were joining. Okay. That is 51 countries were joining and they all accepted... it in Fran- san francisco on 24th august 1945 so they are they have some objectives they have some rules okay what are they let us see to maintain international peace and security that is no country should take war on another country like that they have made agreement okay to develop a spirit of cooperation and friendly relations among the nations of the world they are uh, like importing exporting see we export many things to many countries and the, we import many things from many countries right so like uh, we export uh, rice like that we export many things clothes importantly we export many types of textiles to the other countries okay so we have to develop the spirit of cooperation and friendly relation okay we have to cooperate with other countries this is also one of the point in that agreement okay to provide respect for human rights okay we have to respect human rights okay they because in the second world war people were not considered as people at all they were killed uh very violently okay they were very uh, identity killed so they thought this point should also be added because human rights is the only right of the common people okay we should we should give them to them okay then to solve international problems of social economic agricultural and humiliation sorry humanitarian characters yeah, international problems can be solved by un no that is also one of the uh, point okay to employ international machinery for the promotion and advancement of the people okay if you found if you find something uh, in india you can also uh, give that idea that is you can also help other countries to learn that to like that that also will be uh, available in the agreement okay the main organs of uno what are the organs that is uh, parts or uh, small small associations in the big association we can call it is general assembly economic and social council indian court of justice sorry international court of justice security council uh, trust in trusteeship council and uh, secretaries next this is the flag of uno see if you uh, find any organization session then they will be having a flag for them so uno also has a flag for them it is the flag of uno consists of a white un emblem okay two bent olive branches open at the top they, these are olive branches okay and uh, it's a world map see this is a world map okay all countries will be there inside it. on a light blue background okay the flag was adopted by the uno in october 1947 the headquarters of the uno are in new york city manhattan usa okay as the may 2010 there were 192 member states of the united nations now uh, see initially there were only 51 nations but now the uno has 192 members that is 192 countries as its member okay so let us see about famous landmarks in india okay located in allahabad this was the ancestral home of the late pandit jawaharlal nehru it was donated by his daughter indira gandhi to the indian government and was later turned into a museum 
it is anand bhavan this was the ha- house where uh, pandit jawarlal nehru lived so they have converted that ha- home into museum okay like uh, we have indira gandhi and museum in delhi right so like that they have changed this and named it as anand bhavan next situated in delhi this monument was built by shah jahan and this is one of india's biggest mosques this is jama masjid i think many of you will would have come across this word okay located in shanti niketan west bengal this university was founded by rabindranath tagore to promote education and various arts shanti niketan there was a book written by rabindranath tagore named shanti niketan okay and a place is also named in india like that and in that place we have vishwa bharati university which is a very large university okay situated near agra this is the gateway to fatehpur sikri which was built by akbar great it was buland darwaza see buland b u l a n d buland darwaza d a r w a z a okay next this place in new delhi on the banks of the yamuna this is it is a famous for samadhi in Maha, of mahatma gandhi okay this raj ghat okay located in new delhi this is the place where pandit jawarlal nehru was cremated it is shanti wan built by mohammed bin tughlaq the second ruler of tughlaq dynasty this is an intriguing structure which reflects the simplicity of style that was a hallmark of tughlaqs it is bijai mandal okay this is a memorial built near kanyakumari in memory of swami vivekananda it is vivekananda rock i think you may already know this place located in punjab it is the historic birthplace of khalsa khalsa means pure and this name was given by guru gobind singh to all sikhs who have been baptized or initiated by taking armit or holy water in a ceremony called arm amrit sanchar okay and is known for its takht sri keshgar sahib okay it is anandpur sahib this place okay this was the official residence of india's first prime minister pandit jawarlal nehru in new delhi it has now been converted into a national memorial in his memory it is called team murti house okay then located in bijapur karnataka this is the second largest dome in the world which is not sub, uh, supported by any pillars and is famous for its whispering gallery it is gold gumbas okay this is the one hidden among the tall buildings of konad place new delhi this is step there is step well okay though it has uh, not been proven as built being built by any one person it is believed to have been built by king agrasen in the mahabharat epic era it is agrasen ki bali okay situated near varanasi in uttar pradesh this is the place where gautam buddha preached his first sermon it is famous for its deer park and ashoka pillar it is sarnath okay this is sarnath located in new delhi this is a house where mahatma gandhi was assassinated in 1948 the government of india acquired this house rechristened it and dedicated to the nation it is gandhi sadhan okay let us see some famous places and structures around the world okay standing at 170 meter high above ground these twin sky skyscrapers in kuala lumpur malaysia are an iconic landmark of the capital city it is looking great right okay it is called petronas towers okay located in dhaka it is official residence of prime minister of bangladesh it is gano bhavan okay located in mandu madhya pradesh this is the palatial building 
with walls sloping at an angle about 71 degree creating an illusion that the entire building sways it is hindola mahal okay london's most iconic building this church was designed by english architect sir christopher wren it is st paul's cathedral okay next this ancient citadel is located on the high rocky terrain above the city of athens and is home to several buildings of historical and archaeological significance it is acropolis okay located in jakarta this is the official residence of the indonesian president istana merdeka merdeka okay situated in colombo this is the official residence of the prime minister of sri lanka it is temple trees okay it is an old place in london where charles 1 was executed in 1649 ce it now contains several offices and british government and is also a museum okay it is white hall palace this one okay next it is officially residential place of the pope in the uh, vatican city it has over 1000 rooms it is vatican palace okay this is vatican palace big building actually presented to usa by france this structure was designed by f a bartoldi and unveiled in 1886 it is statue of liberty okay i think you already know about statue of liberty considered the m epitome of byzantine architecture this structure now houses a museum in istanbul uh constantinople okay it is hagia sophia i think you, this also you have heard about it right hagia sophia located in new york this is one of the world's tallest buildings it has 102 stories and was built in 1931 102 stories means 102 floors okay empire state building it was a very big building okay situated in london this is the official residence of british monarch it is buckingham palace i think this word is also familiar to you this famous theater form uh, formerly known as the Kodak Theater is a live performance auditorium Hollywood Boulevard it is nothing but Dolby Theater very very famous theater okay this is an old astronomical observatory near Ujjain created by Maharaja Savai Jai Singh II of Jaipur containing gigantic masonry instruments it is Ved Shala okay situated in usa it is a five sided building and is the headquarters of department of defense usa pentagon see this is pentagon see this 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 is a five sided building and it is called pentagon in mathematics right so they have named the building as it is pentagon okay next we'll see about some world heritage sites in india These cave monuments in the Aurangabad district of Maharashtra are considered masterpieces of Buddhist religious art. Okay. Located in the northern territory of Australia, this archaeological and ethnological reserve has been home to people for more than 40,000 years. Okay. Situated in the Bellary district of Karnataka, the remains of palaces and temples here tell the story of the great architectural achievements of the rulers of the Vijayanagar Empire. Located in Bangladesh, it is one of the largest mangrove forests in the world. It lies in the delta of the Ganga, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers of the Bay of Bengal. Situated at Bodh Gaya, this temple complex is placed in the Bangladesh. where lord buddha attained enlightenment okay situated 45 km to the southeast of bhopal this archaeological site is the foothills of the vindhyas has rock shelters displaying paintings that date back to mesolithic age this one okay 
Situated in the Puri district of Odisha, this temple is in representation of the sun's god chariot that has 24 wheels decorated with symbolic designs. Okay. Situated in Assam, this park is the home to the one-horned rhinoceros as well as many other animals including elephants and tigers. Formerly known as Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary, this national park in Rajasthan is wintering areas of large number of birds from Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, China and Siberia. Okay. Located in Cambodia's northern province of Siem Reap, it is one of the most important archaeological sites in South Asia. Okay.